I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. Most everyone's mad here. <laughs> Hey boobs, welcome back to my channel to part two of the impromptu video. I don't even know. So, long story short, I made a cosplay. I spent like three days making it, although it didn't take full three days. It took like a couple of hours or an hour out of the three. It didn't take long. So I made this really cool scream costume and then I tried it on. I put the mask on, put the whole costume together. And then, much like my husband, it gave me a rash. Poor Ben, he gets so picked on on my channel. So I need a backup plan. So we're going to a horror convention called For the Love of Horror and they have, they have, they have the terrifier there. I'm so excited. It's in just over a week, I think, and I have no money. I get paid like just after the convention. I have no money to buy any new costume. So I'm gonna use what I have in my house and see what I can come up with. Luckily, I am a bit of a fancy dress fiend and I do have a fancy dress box, but hardly any of it fits me. I have a wedding dress in that, like a full wedding dress. Cause I never, when I got married, both times, um, I never wore a wedding dress. They're a novelty to me and I absolutely adore them. I did, I, so any chance I get to wear a wedding dress, I, I'm all over that. I wore one at Bloodstock last year. Why not? And I will wear one next year cause I'm going next year. But the only thing that I found in this costume box that I could remotely make into something, not only horror but something I will feel comfortable wearing. Um, I did think put the wedding dress with leather jacket and go as Tiffany from Chucky. I don't know, I, I kind of fancy something a little bit more. Because I also thought about going as Wednesday Adams with the dress I made for the Scream outfit. I don't know, a little bit more Disney to be honest. That's where we got the road we're going down. I want to be, I want to be a Disney princess because that's my thing. I always do Disney princesses for Halloween. I've done Alice in Wonderland, Little Mermaid, Snow White. Um, I think when Covid hit I was going to do Elsa. I just, I just love Disney princesses. So I had a look through my costume box and I found this. A very old... Um, has hair dye on it, Alice in Wonderland dress. I never actually wore it as I tried it on when I first got it. It has a little apron, crisp white apron. I wish my future was this bright. This could be like a, a Daz commercial, couldn't it? Get your whites white with Daz. And it came with a little hairband as well, which really annoyed me that the bow is right in the middle because I hate that. It needs to go like that. I'll probably make my own, to be honest. I might put the bow that I had from the Scream outfit on there. Um, actually, yes, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I don't have time to do it right now. Why did I just do that? <laughs> so I have this dress and it's a bit like a moo moo. It's very long, it's like a maxi dress on me. I bought it for a family costume party and it never, it never fit. It still doesn't fit. It said it was a size 12 to 14 and it is, uh, not. Here's me trying it on, looking weird. It, it's very long, it doesn't fit, it's got hair dye on it, the stitching's all coming undone. It was just a cheap, very cheap costume dress. So we're gonna funk this up today and make a costume, attempt to make a costume. So I've decided to go as Alice in Wonderland. I've already done Alice, but it's the only costume I have. <laughs> um, and I have this bunny, which I had to actually buy off my own daughter. Uh, she was given this like, a year ago um, and I asked her if I could borrow one of her bunny toys and put you know cover it in blood slush it slash it up bro and she was like for two pounds you can <laughs> you little so yeah this bunny cost me two pounds so I'm gonna slash this I'm gonna mess this up as well I'm gonna do this completely with things from my house I haven't bought anything for this because I can't afford it I'm gonna chat to you throughout this video as well so That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Where are my scissors? First thing I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna be Alice in, I don't wanna be Alice in Wonderland. I wanna be Alice in Wonderland. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the bottom off. Really jaggedy. I am not gonna do this neat at all. That's the good thing about doing kind of zombie horror stuff. Like it really does not have to be neat. Let's see if we can rip it. Oh my God, we can't rip it. Oh, we can. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to pull that off because that is too long. Oh, no, it's ripped. It's ripped. We've ruined it. This is why we can't have... No. 
nice things. Okay, let's just go back to cutting it. My God. It's because I'm on a time frame, guys, because I need to get this up. Because my, my scream costume was supposed to be the thing I was going to wear. But um, yeah, that didn't turn out right. So I now have less than a week to get this done. And it sounds like a long time, you know, over a week to make a cosplay. But I... I have a child and I work and this is like the only day I have to get this done. <laughs> Woe is me. So there's the trim, all nice and jaggedy. I need to get it a rough length that I want it, but I'm sat down, so let's just... I know the waistline when I tried it on came to like my hips, so I'm gonna cut this quite short. I'm gonna cut like about that much off. Although that did split right at the front where the leg goes, so that's kind of an accidental cool split, so... I'm gonna put my black tutu that I wore for the Scream costume under this as well, so you won't see me gash. We're not doing that kind of Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Thunderland? Phallus in Wonderland. <laughs> That's a giant safety pin. Where have you been all my life? So I've just pinned down there, um, but I'm kind of liking that, but that was an accident or rip. So what I'm gonna do is cut a good few inches off the bottom of this. So I will really quickly do that and then um, chat to you guys in a second. Quite a bit of length has been cut off. A little bit more than I hoped, actually. This is what happens when you do not plan things. Cut a good few inches off, and as you can see, my cutting skills are amazing. Cut my dress into pieces. Give me a cool costume. Alice in one let and that didn't work what i'm gonna do because this is bit, looking a bit like a betty rubble from the flintstones costume at the minute frick sewing this on like i did the screen one i'm not gonna do that i am going to safety pin this trim all the way around the bottom of the dress really jaggedy again this is why it's so much easier <laughs> to do to do like zombie horror costumes when it's like this you can be messier you can be rushed i can just kind of do what i can just kind of do what i want and it no one will know if it looks exactly like it's supposed to look there you go so i'm just gonna do that all the way along so while i'm pinning this let's have a little chat about hocus pocus oh my god like the tiniest little safety pin ever. Yeah, so when I filmed the Scream video, I hadn't watched Hocus Pocus yet because my daughter made me promise to wait for her. So I waited for Violet and we got popcorn and we got McDonald's and we had a proper little film day. Ben went out. So it was just, just us girls. And it was lovely because well, I love our film days. We Violet and I used to do them so much. We would always snuggle up, watch a film, and then she's she's a bit too old to be my friend now she doesn't you know i'm not cool anymore to book a time slot with her so my daughter's eight so and i feel like she was their core demographic that sort of age because i freaking hated it i really didn't like it i have so many questions what was with billy at the end of the first one he wasn't he, his curse was lifted wasn't it and he was able to move on from purgatory he was set free no okay no apparently he's been awake all these years that's fine how did the bookshop owner get the book there was a lot of questions that were unanswered why was the forest witch never mentioned in the first one i did like the first part of the film when they were kids i did think that was cool oh i did not like that billy did not cheat on winifred um because that was kind of a I don't know, I, I liked that when I was a kid, like, oh, he kissed her sister, and that was her boyfriend, and now it's like, well, well, he's saying he wasn't even her boyfriend, and it's like, I feel like that did take a little part of the first one away. I think they should have kept that. It was very aimed towards younger kids, and yeah. Like I said, Violet absolutely adored it. Um, I just don't think it was good and what was up with sarah's eyebrows i didn't have high hopes for it to be completely honest with you so i think it lived up to what i thought it was going to live up to i didn't think i was going to enjoy it and i really hoped that i was pleasantly surprised why were they not eating children because the first what the first film oh that's not, the first film is about them wanting to eat children 
to stay young. They didn't even try. I know it became about revenge, but they, they didn't even try to eat any kids. Do not get me started on the ending. Stop making me angry, guys. I really didn't like it. They did the Sanderson sisters dirty. I did like at the um, fancy dress co competition, though, that the, the slutty Sanderson sisters won over the real Sanderson sisters, because I feel like that's quite realistic during competitions. Like, the slutty ones usually win. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> that was a lot quicker than sewing it. I've just safety pinned it all the way along the bottom. I don't know how well you can see that. It's like no, it's not very good at all, but I'm kind of hoping that that just adds a little bit of extra to it. And I will have this tutu under it. This is my fancy dress tutu. I took my scream costume off in such a rush the other day because I was just like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not having this. I was so annoyed um, and everything's all muddled up and <laughs> chucked in a pile of sadness over there. I think it will poke out of the bottom a little bit. Um, well, hopefully it will anyway because it will look a bit kind of a bit, a bit grungier. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna slash this up too much because, um, I don't know, I'm just not. So what I'm gonna do now is I have a bin bag. I'm a bit prepared today. I have a bin bag all cut up on the floor and I'm gonna show you my never before shown how to get realistic fake blood on your Halloween costumes trick. I'm hoping this is gonna work. So this is just a bit of the rag from the dress. And this is a normal tube, oh god, of fake blood. It, pretty much every shop around Halloween sells this kind of fake blood. Oh, I've got white trousers on and it's just caught up my white trousers and now it looks like I've had my period. If I just wait for that to dry, you can see it on my skin. This is, I'm, I'm actually gonna put it on my skin so I can show you because that's the main point I wanted to show you. It's like watery. And I, I always think it doesn't look real. You know, people here cover a white shirt in like a few streaks, a few slashes of blood. There you go. And it goes like that. And I don't think that looks very real. It's just a bit too pinky. My trick is this. This is what I have used for years, years and years and years for fake blood on my costumes. And it doesn't go... See, it looks red on my camera. In real life, it's kind of pink. I will find a picture here. I'll put here. This is exactly what I mean. When it dries, it goes this kind of sheer pinky shade, whereas this stays blood red. <laughs> I'm just going to have that on my hand now because it stains. So this is Directions Hair Dye in shade Vermilion. And this is the new pots of Directions. I have the old pot here so I can show you. Um, different colour, but Directions have just brought out bigger tubs. So these old ones are 88ml and the new ones are 100ml. And they're the same price, but you get 12 extra percent. They put online, you get 14 extra percent. I was like, <gasps> someone needs to go back to school. Directions Vermilion is my trick for Halloween costumes. All right, my camera is not gonna do this justice. I'm gonna try it on this camera, hold on. So that one is the cheap fake blood. And you can see it, it dries like that. That's exactly how it dries, just patchy and pink. And then this is Vermilion Directions. Look at that difference. And it will dry like that. That's, that's exactly what I was trying to show you. Right there, boys, right there. <laughs> I've got it all over me. I've got it on my trousers. Why did I wear white trousers today? Because you're a freaking idiot, Emily. You don't plan ahead. I'm gonna move my camera. I'm gonna lay everything out on this bin bag and I'm gonna do some blood splatter, some techniques, some like blue, and we'll see what we can come up with. I'm gonna do it first on the apron bit because it's white and it's gonna cover most of the dress. This will be the focal point. Um, so I will talk to you through while I'm doing this and then I will put some music while I do the dress. I don't think the blood is going to be as obvious on this, mainly because of the cheap fabric, which sucks, but this will be the focal point. So I'm going to move my camera and chat to you. So I've got my latex gloves. I find latex gloves work better. Uh, just because you can get a better grip on that, you can just dab your fingers in it rather than the plastic hair dyeing gloves. Here we go, boys. That's the colour. 
so I am just gonna stick my fingers in it and just kind of flick them I have and look at that how real does that look I don't like to be too obvious and do like flat handprints prefer to do like splatter and marks and uh, because this cannot be washed so make sure where you want it because as soon as you wash it because it's hair dye it will dye the whole thing pink so this will stay this sort of like this so yeah be aware you can't wash it all the way up all the way and your little dark too let's do so i'm gonna have blood all down the front of my face so i'm gonna want blood all down here So that was super easy, super, for watching too much r slash, super easy, super streamlined. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just pop a couple more little bits over it, but that was so easy and I'm very happy with how that's come out. Oh, some sauce, oh, some sauce. Get you in there, love, get you in there. I'm gonna leave this to dry and um, I might put some slashes in it when it is dry. I probably should have done this first and some safety pins and bits, but for now, I'm gonna just leave it. Apron done. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same with the dress. I am unsure how this is gonna come out, so I hope it's gonna come out all right. We'll see, we'll see. <gasps> Wish me luck. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. This isn't taking as long as I thought it was gonna take, but it's really, it's gone from being super, super, super cold and like erect nipples at three o'clock to boiling now. So my nipples are so inny. Do I even have any? So the dress is pretty much done and I've still got my makeup to do. And what I'm gonna do next is tights. So you can see the color difference. These are ones that I wear and these are new ones. Oh, dirty bitch. So I get my stripy tights from Poundland one pound at Halloween and they are so good. The only thing is that they are freaking tiny. So I wear a size large and um, that's how big they are. That's how big they stretch. Um, <laughs> so be warned, but they work fantastic as arm tights if, you, if they won't fit your legs or your waist or whatever. So all you do is get your tights, cut the feet off, didn't even measure that I hope that's the right length <laughs> exactly the same on the other one I hold up the bit I've cut off onto the other one just so I can get it as close to it as possible so here are my arm tights oh wait it might help if we cut out a bit for your head get your scissors again go to the fanny and snip that bad boy I just cut out a big semicircle there really isn't neatness to it because I wear these under clothes so you won't see that bit and voila you have a top perfect sleeves a la Emily so I'm gonna put a few slits not too many because I want to be quite covered up I do a little slit and then pull it open like that and it just kind of makes it curl over a little bit it's so subtle but it's something I do with all my tights and I'm gonna put some splatter on these but again not a lot because I want my focus to be the um the hair and the makeup i can hear my ferrets downstairs having a rave they need to put on some better music all i can hear is peppa pig <laughs> i think i left netflix on and it's gone from from dharma to peppa pig well i kind of get it i'm gonna switch cameras put my tights back down and do splatter but i'm not gonna do too much literally just a few little splats because Right, something I've never heard said about myself. Got my mirror, let's mess about with some makeup. I have blood all over my arms, 
look like I've been fingering myself on my period. I have loads of makeup around me. I have zero idea what I'm gonna do. And this is just like a dress rehearsal. All I know is that I've got not a lot of time before I have to go pick my child up from school. So let's see what we can do. So we're gonna start off with Le Contact Lens. Um, I have one. I'm gonna pop this in. It takes me days to put contact lenses in. I cut this out of the video, but um, when I was getting ready for alternative model of the year, the vlog, I vlogged me getting ready, I think. I actually thought I'd lost my contact lens up my eye and there was a massive panic and I was going crazy. And I, I'm pretty sure I cut it out, but I, um, yeah, I thought I was, I thought I'd lost it and I thought I was gonna have to go to A&E and miss alternative model and, it was a whole palaver. Oh, it was nearly in. Hallelujah. I got it in. That only took me seven minutes. So that's like a new record. I love, I think contact lenses can really change up an outfit and they are so simple. And I get mine from Hunt or Die. And um, I only, only, I, I'm a bit of a lens snob. I only, only wear Mesmer eyes, Mesmer eyes lenses. All these, because I, I get a lot of cheapy contact lens brands reach out to me and they're just no good for your eyes. Um, plus I have astigmatism so I have to be very on top of my eye care and mesmerise are some of the better budget ones so thumbs up for them. I've got my base on, um, all about that base, about that base, I hate her. Let's put my wig cap on. I'm so excited to do this because it my daughter oh god my daughter is going as huggy wuggy for for the convention and she absolutely adores dressing up but she will not dress up if i'm not dressed up and ben's not dressing up he's like flat out refused no 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 i don't want to meet cory taylor in fancy dress and i'm like bitch i do let's start with some brows shall we i'm gonna make that effort for her she's got to have one parent that loves her so I'm gonna try and do those kind of like whoop, Disney brows. I mean, I, I kind of have Disney brows anyway. I do try to draw them on every day, like weird. I mean, that's not too bad. Quite like that. It's like a piece of sheet music. So we've spoken about Hocus Pocus. What else we got? Oh, sh I've ruined it, it's too thick. Um, I, I saw Trick or Treat 2 is in production. And I don't really want to get excited about it because I always get excited about when I see a new Silent Hill game is coming out and then you read it and then you're just like, it happens every few months, Silent Hill, whatever is in production, Silent Hill is in production and it never comes, it never goes anywhere. So I just want to know when it's coming out. I just want the release date and then that's it. But Trick or Treat is my favourite, aside from Scream, um, horror film. I have sam's pumpkin here i'm gonna get a whole sam piece here i want to have some money i need to get my disney sleeve finished first um join my patreon hey help me pay for it ding <laughs> plus patreon really does help out my channel so you know um it, it's a great way to help me continue to do what i do and i just added a new tier i'm not sure if it's cheeky or not um so you can be in a video with me but i kind of did it and then i was like that feels really cheeky so I'm not sure if I might take that off. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm in a secret, not really secret, but like a secret Facebook group for Motionless in White fans. And Motionless in White put up on the, in this group, if you're in LA on this date, on this date, at this time, you can be in our new music video. And I saw it and I was like, I'm only like 10,000 miles away and I was I was genuinely looking at flights I was like I can do it I can leave Violet with Nanny for like three days I can go to LA I don't, I've got no money I've got about three pound in my purse um I can go to LA and get a flight to LA I can do it and I can do it, be in the music video and come back and I don't know what I was thinking but obviously I didn't do it like I could uh, wishful wishful thinking and I just, I would have absolutely adored to, that's like a dream come true. Well, like, it's your, it's my favorite band. So if your favorite band said to you, come, have some cookies, be in our music video. I'm pretty sure you guys, if it was your favorite band, would be like, oh, hell yeah. That's what I messaged Ben and I was like, 
I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to LA. <laughs> and he's so used to my antics, he was like, all right, see you when you get back. So, oh, I haven't, didn't tell you what I was doing. So uh, the eyeliner was just um, an NYX NYX vinyl liquid eyeliner. I love it. I really like the, br the brush on it. I'll do them neater than this when it comes to the actual event. Um, I'm going to use a Beauty Bay brush and my Simpsons Revolution palette because um, I don't have a red, which is ironic because I did just buy the Beetlejuice red palette because um, I lend all my palettes out and I haven't got them back because <laughs> I had a red palette. So I'm going to use the Hell to Pay, <laughs> uh, which is like a brownie red <sighs> sort of brick shade. Um, what we do? I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Oh, well, don't stipple it like that, bitch. I'm gonna learn from this. So what, what, on the actual day, it'll look nicer than this. This is just me like messing around. Messing around. Should I do the school run like this? There's a mum on the school run that freaking hates me. I've spoken to her a couple of times, but my God, she hates me. Literally, she's got a little boy and every time I walk past her, she proper scowls. I think she's my number one fan, she just won't admit it. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and blend this out a little bit because this didn't come out anyway like I thought it was going to. I was hoping Halloween was on a school day this year. I mean it is, it's on a Monday, but it's uh, school holidays here in the UK. I'm gonna go back in with The Raven, which is the black kind of glittery shade from this. Uh, was it last year I went, I did the school run in fancy dress because it was Halloween. So I was hoping I could do that again this year. It, it doesn't have the same effect if you do it after Halloween. So if I did it on the Tuesday, it wouldn't be as cool. And I gave Violet some like, a little like zombie stitch on her face and she didn't get told off. So I was like, oh, we can do it again. I actually have Halloween plans this year. I mean, I always have Halloween plans, but um, like we take Violet trick or treating on actual Halloween. But the weekend before I have a girls night out in London at a club um, where called Monster Queen. And I have been dying to go to Monster Queen for years it's like a fetish goth club um the <laughs> my friend and i keep joking because the the dress code is horror slash nude we just randomly go horror slash nude <laughs> so i have no idea what i'm wearing or not wearing i'm thinking tits out pvc skirt but i want to put more into it more effort and um i don't know because i've been looking at the pictures of it and people make a lot of effort i used to go to fetish clubs a lot in london i used to go to club antichrist every time it was on me and my ex would stay out it used to finish it, it starts at antichrist used to start at 11 p.m and finish at 6 a.m and we used to go to london for 11 p.m stay up all night and then get the train home at 6 a.m and i'm like i can't f do that anymore it's so funny because at 6 a.m you get all the business commuters and there would be me and my ex sat wearing pvc latex hardly anything me with my tits out sat at the tube station at 6 a.m with the commuters trying to get home um yeah so uh, that's a memory that i really like i'm excited to um, have that again although we do have a hotel um so we we won't have to be getting the tube at 6am because we'll have a hotel but i'm super excited because i've never been and this group that i'm going with it's like all my best friends when you when you've got a really nice little group it makes the biggest difference i do have eyelashes but i cannot find my these are magnetic lashes and i cannot find the pen um i think my daughter used it as as a felt tip pen by mistake. I will buy some different lashes, I think. Just pop to Poundland and get some. Cause that's all I can afford. Freaking cost of living, right, I need to tell you, what, cause I keep saying I'm so poor. Look at our electric bill. I'm gonna do some like ticks here to kind of mimic lashes. Our electric bill went up from 70 something pound a month, which I think is a lot anyway, to 700. We did phone up, like, because I was like, I'm not freaking having that! We did phone up, and after a 
hours literally hours of waiting on the phone and i was me and ben kept laughing because we were like everybody's got a bill like this haven't they that's why they're all that's why the phone lines are so jammed and this is my jolie beauty eyeliner pen this is my absolute favorite pen for eyeliner pen liner pen ever you can get discount at jolie beauty this is the best pen ever they admitted on the phone that they overestimated it and i was like you think so it has gone down from 700 and something a month but it's gone down to like 280 a month um because the cost of living everything has freaking gone up but i did not expect our electric bill to go to rise by over 200 pound so at the minute oh my god i've turned into my nana every time ben and violet leave a room if they've left the light on i'm like light <laughs> turn the light off um oh my god i've been using candles more than lights which it, i love candles anyway i just kind of forgot to use candles i get a bit um a bit mummy with mumsy with candles because you know fire health and safety and all that jazz so um i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i've got no idea what i'm doing i don't know life's just freaking difficult in it let's move on to my trick i haven't got any liquid latex and i want to do some like wounds and that and then i thought to myself i wonder if this would work pva glue i feel like it's a british rite of passage when you're in primary school you paint the back of your hand in pva glue and you peel it off so this is my child's glue and every time she has it see it dries kind of like that and every time she has it i always paint the back of my hand and i got her doing it and the other day she was doing crafts and she full on painted her leg she covered her whole leg in pva glue it's child safe before anyone's like oh my god you tear a period she painted her whole leg let it dry and she just peeled it off and it's so satisfying and i got some toilet paper two ply so uh, we need to peel that apart and i'm gonna test this out for you and i'm gonna see if it'll actually work Ugh. i have just dipped a, the, a very one a one ply sh tab of tissue i don't know i don't know what i'm doing let's put it here <laughs> i don't think this is gonna work let's try it anyway trial and error i did also get some cards because i was like oh my god i can make earrings um because i saw that i was looking up um alice in wonderland cost uh, makeup and that and it had the whole card sticking out so let's should we try that so we need a kind of curved shape don't we do we let's try it oh we do okay so let's stick you in there holy shit, that actually worked okay i don't know how well it's gonna last I can't believe that's actually staying on though. Budget Halloween costumes with boo. <laughs> oh no. So I'm sure you are absolutely sick and tired of hearing me talk about it. But we do have the Manchester Hangout. Can't see what I'm doing. Because there's a card in the way. Just stick on my face and just hope for the best you could also use eyelash glue but you know i don't have any i think if it was smaller if i cut maybe shards of the card rather than we'll try that the other side rather than a whole like half a card so if i don't have this for horicon you'll know that it failed miserably so yeah we've got manchester hangout on saturday um oh, saturday get the date right emily on sunday if you are about it is this coming Sunday, the 16th of October, 12 o'clock Piccadilly Gardens. I've got to keep my head tilted so this stays on. Come hang out, make some friends. It is, I don't think it's going to be as busy as the London one because this got moved. Oh, it's dripping, it's dripping. But it, I think it's still going to be a great little hangout day. And I think it's going to be all, and, and do you know what? It's, there's so much fun. And I just come hang out, come make friends and just have a laugh. Ben and I, because we were going up with some friends and they're not able to make it now. So it's just Ben and I now. And I think we're going to go hang out at NQ64 on Saturday night, if anyone's about. So that'll be cool. We're not getting to Manchester till quite late because we've both got work during the day. Okay, so that actually... I don't like where I've put them because it looks like a giant card has gone through my face. So... I would 
I'll probably take that one off. I'm, I think I'll do little ones like this as opposed to the big one, but I'll, I'll keep it on for now so I can see how well it holds. Uh, I don't want to alarm you guys, but it's, it's all right. Am I better than everyone? Yeah, that one's definitely too big. That is just, that's like a third of a card. Um, so definitely the smaller ones. So I will um, let these dry. I'm gonna do some like Chelsea smile cuts. I love Manchester. I, I always say if we didn't have Violet, I, w I would pick up and move to Manchester tomorrow. Because London scares me too much. I love London, but it's just too, too much. Manchester's like, it seems, like again, like I don't live there, so I don't know. <laughs> but it seems like, a, an, I don't know. It's just got such a big alternative community and I absolutely adore it. Well, that didn't work out. I look like Maurice from Beauty and the Beast. Crazy old Maurice, hmm? I, ca I can't believe they're actually holding on. That's me when I see Rhea Ripley topless. <laughs> so I'm gonna let those dry. Let's do some lip dick. Lip dick, where are you? Oh, I ain't got mascara on. I keep forgetting to do mascara. I'm gonna use my Barry M Matte Me Up liquid lip dick. I'm gonna put some mascara on first quickly though. This is just cheap mascara. I think it's from Poundland. It's all right. So let's talk about Makeup Revolution. So I did my very rushed Beetlejuice Makeup Revolution video and I literally, I the, let me tell you how rushed it was. The parcel came at one o'clock and I got it filmed before I did the school run at three. So I ha it came at one, I had two hours to film, but that includes getting everything set up. I had to edit it. So, and it went up about six o'clock, six, seven o'clock. So from one o'clock, I got that filmed, edited. I was quite impressed with that. The collection itself, I, I did like. So many of you were like, oh my God, they're bringing out a Coraline collab. Because I didn't realize it, but they do three spooky collabs every Halloween. I had no idea. They did Game of Thrones, they did Beetlejuice, and they were doing Coraline. So they brought out, so I watched and waited for that Coraline collab to come out. And especially after the Beetlejuice one, I was like, oh my God, there's so many I'm gonna want. Um, I'm not a huge fan of blues, but I thought, because I thought there would be lots of blues because of the tone of the of the film. Um, but I was like, there's gotta be lots of blacks. I thought there'll be some pinks, there'll obviously be yellows. There would be that. Maybe there'll be a Wyborn palette. Maybe there'll be a Bobinski palette. There was so much they could have done and I was so excited to, and it's literally like six pieces and two of them aren't even makeup. There was the main button palette, which, you know, aesthetically it was beautiful. One double-ended lipstick, which, the colours were not great. Um, there was eye button patch, uh, like coolers, dragonfly hair clips, which I get they're both from the film, but they're not what I expected from this collab. And I was, it, I was really disappointed. And um, yeah, that sucked. So I d actually, I didn't end up getting any of it. I was, I was like, I'm not giving you my money. Yeah, so I was very disappointed because I had loads of you messaging me saying, are you gonna do anything of it? Are you gonna do a video? Um, I'm gonna use my, talking of Revolution, my Revolution Pro highlight, I forgot what it was called, highlight a little palette thing. And I'm gonna use this purpley one because it's my favorite and I use it all the time. It's got me news. Oh, look at that. I love this. It is so <coughs> powdery and chalky though. As soon as my lipstick dries, I'm going to put it on there as well. It's quite hard to see on my camera, but it's uh, shimmery. So yeah, I was very disappointed with the Coraline collection. I did expect a lot more. So I'm going to really have to speed this up. I'm sorry, because I've got to go. Um, so this is not dry unfortunately but i'm gonna i'm gonna just cover it in blood anyway so at least you'll get the rough look of what it's gonna look like so we're gonna use the fake blood that i was slagging off earlier because it's oh, it's gone everywhere it's great for makeup it's just not great for clothes the glue is still all wet so i don't know how well it's gonna work oh no don't. i've got white trousers on because this bitch don't think I mean, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> so I'm still playing Pokemon Go. I still can't win any raids above a two star. 
I tried a three at work yes, the other day and I was just like, and I nearly cried because it was a Pokemon that I really want. It's the one I can't pronounce that Magikarp evolves into and I really want him because I've only seen him in the wild once and my phone crashed. And when I, by the time I got it back on, like, I stopped what I was doing. And by the time I got it back on, he would gone. So if anyone wants to like trade him with me, that would be great. I'm genuinely surprised at how all right this looks. If I, oh, I just spilled it everywhere. It's all over everything. You can kind of see though, it is a bit pinky, which oh, annoys me. I know in America you use like corn syrup. You'll know where I learned that from if you're a horror fan. Corn syrup. Daddy wants some? And scream. I've got to remember like the dress has blood all down here so I will put blood all over me here. I want that to be coming from my nose. Oh it's stinging my moustache. Be careful of my lip piercing. I have been so tempted. Now when I say so tempted like I got the equipment out the other day. <laughs> so I work in a tattoo studio, I'm a piercer, I, oh, I've made a mess. Um, that's very aesthetic though, I like that. I might take a picture of that for Instagram. I have been so um, wanting to put two vertical labrettes the other side of the one I have. That's not, that's... If I had packed that on a bit more, that's not too bad. Yeah, I want two more. The only thing that's stopping me is I have a lot of things coming up over the next couple of weeks. And I want to wear lipstick for all three of these things. I'm like, I can't have fat swollen lips or I can't wear lipstick for them. But I think they will, ugh, sorry teeth, tastes like sh I think they will be my next piercings to, I don't know if I'll do them myself. I'm a piercer, it's fine. <laughs> do not pierce yourself, you can literally die. Or if I'll get someone else to do them, but I, I don't know, but they're next on my piercing list. So I think that'll do for now. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I'm gonna put my green wig on, and do you know what I'm gonna do? I forgot to do the hairband. So this is the bow that was on the hairband, and this is the bow that was on my scream dress. It's just bigger, it's just nicer. I've got PVA glue, will that work? <laughs> I think I need super glue. So I'm just gonna sit and hold that for a second and play on Instagram. Right, so I'm running out of time, so I really can't, well the blood is dried, I'm gonna put more blood on. Um, so I'm gonna really quickly, put my costume on it's still a bit wet so i'm gonna try so freaking hard not to get it on this wall but i'm gonna try it all on and hopefully it will translate to sort of what i am trying to portray um this is not exactly how i will do it for horicon it will be but it's the basis of what i will do because i will be in a hotel room as well so i won't have all the stuff that I have here. Hopefully I'll have toilet paper, but I don't know what the hotel's like, so we don't know. Yeah, so I'm gonna get dressed and I will do a little fancy try on and then I'll say goodbye. It's flashing, my camera's just about to die. We make good time. <gasps> Period thumbs. I have just enough time to get this all wiped off and go and do the school run, but I'm gonna have red staining down here. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is definitely what I will be dressing as for Horicon. I'll, I'll play about with it a little bit. I need to pin these up here because I keep falling down. And um, there is blood all in my cleavage at the moment. So, um, <laughs> yay! <gasps> Moist tits. So the first cosplay gave me a rash and the second one turned me into a bloody mess. And let me know if you're going to For the Love of Horror. And if you are, we're only there on Sunday, but do come say hello. But that is it, guys. I will see you very soon with another video. A little burp there. <laughs> Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself. And most of all, stay weird. <laughs>